Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to get Valet installed. Alright, now, if you're familiar with Laravel, which is the PHP framework, Valet is a very light development environment that we can use, but it's generally only for Mac computers. Now, somebody has created a port over to Windows and Linux. We're going to be using the one for Windows, and I'm going to show you how to get that set up. So if you've never used this, it's going to make it super easy for you to be able to view your applications right through your web browser without having to set up ZAMP, WAMP, LAMP, any of that stuff. Uh, you don't have to put it on a live development server or anything. Uh, you can use the PHP Artisan Serve server if you would like to, but I find this to be honestly a little bit easier to use and it's a little nicer looking too. So let's get started. So first of all, there's a couple things that you need to have installed on your system before we actually start getting Valet to work. The first thing is going to be Composer. Now for Composer, it's very simple. You're just going to go to this website here called getcomposer.org. You're going to go to download. And then if you're on Windows, you're going to do the composer setup.exe. So you're just going to run that, let it do its thing, and then you'll have Composer available to your system. And it'll be in your system path so you can pull it from anywhere. So once that's done, uh, we're going to move on to installing Laravel. Now Laravel is another easy one to install. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to laravel.com and we'll just go back to the home page and then you go to documentation and installation is the first thing you're going to come across. Now because we've installed Composer, it'll make installing Laravel super easy. The only thing you're going to need to do is one, one command. Uh, once you run this command, Composer Global Require Laravel Installer, it's going to install Laravel to your system and you'll be able to pull up your CMD, uh, your PowerShell, whatever you want to do and type in Laravel new and then an application name and it'll automatically create a new Laravel application for you. So it's very simple. Once you get Laravel installed, we can move on to installing Valet. Now I'm not gonna show you how to do these. These are pretty basic, pretty simple. I'm pretty sure you guys can follow the instructions and uh, get it up and running. Now, with that said, we're gonna move on to our uh, or Valet for Windows. So what you're going to do is go to packages.org and uh, they have the Valet for Windows. To easily find it, you can just go to Google and type in Valet for Windows and it's the first link that pops up. So it's just a more enjoyable local development experience for Windows and that's why it is, you know, loved on Mac uh, and now we can do it for Windows too. So as you can see, it requires PHP to be installed into your system and then a bunch of stuff from Laravel. This is why we installed Laravel first. Now, if you do not have PHP already installed in your system, it's very simple to get. I already have it in my system uh, from XAMPP, but uh, you can do this command right here for the set execution policy remote signed. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to come over here and type in PowerShell. And what we're going to do is right click, run as administrator, and click yes. So now that we have PowerShell open, we're going to paste in and run to install PHP. Now, it's going to come up with this. You want to just type in capital A and hit OK. Now, it's going to already tell me that PHP is already installed, but if you don't have PHP installed already, it'll install it for you. And it's going to install PHP 7.1. Now, once we have this done, we need to run another command to actually get Valet for Windows. And that's this command right here, Composer Global Require, and then whatever this guy's name is, I can't pronounce it, valet-windows. So we'll come back here to our PowerShell. We're going to paste it in and hit enter. So it's going to change to the directory that Composer is installed. Mine is installed in app data roaming. And it's going to load in the valet for Windows. Pretty simple. As you can see there, good to go. All right, now we actually need to install Valet, and this is also going to set it up to where it will run upon your computer starting up, so you never have to come and start this again. You'll always be able to access your applications locally without ever having to touch it. So we're gonna do Valet install and hit enter, and we'll let that do its thing. It takes about 15 seconds or so, nothing too bad. Uh, and then after that, there's uh, one more thing that we're gonna need to set up on our computer to make sure that this is going to work properly and that's our DNS. Now this will use acrylic DNS instead of mask DNS like it uses on Mac. So we need to come down here and we need to right click Open Network sh and Sharing Center. Okay, we're gonna go to our Ethernet, we're going to go to our Properties, and then we're going to go to the IPv4 protocol. 
Now, what you want to do is set your preferred DNS server to your local host, 127.0.0.1, and click OK. Don't worry about the alternate DNS, you don't have to have that in there. Now we need to go to the IPv6 protocol and set our local host for the IPv6, which is colon colon 1, and click OK. Once you're done, click OK, click Close, and close out that window. You've now successfully got Valet running for Windows. Now how do you use it? It's very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to CD back out to the main uh, root of my system. We're going to CD into the users. We're going to CD into my main user, which is my under my name, Peter Steele. We're going to CD into the documents, and we're going to make a directory, which is mkdir, make directory, and then we're just going to call this sites, and we can even call it applications. So we're going to CD in the applications, and then we're going to basically tell the valet this is the main directory that's going to house all of my applications. I want you to use this to pull my applications for the development server. So it's very simple. We're just going to type in valet park. And as you can see here, the directory has been added to the valet's path. Now, if you have other applications somewhere else on your system, outside of your main path, like you would be using here, you can do valet link instead and link specifically to that application and still be able to use it in valet. So now that we have the applications folder set in valet to be our main route for all of our applications, let's create a new Laravel application. It's very simple. We're just going to type in Laravel new and then we'll just say uh, we'll call this uh, tutorial and then we'll click OK. Now I'm going to pause the video here because there's no point in you sitting for the next five minutes to watch this install. So give me one second and we'll come right back. Okay, so we're back. It's almost done loading up. Uh, it'll be done here in just another second. So once this is loaded up, I'll show you how to actually view your new development environment with Valet. And we'll uh, see that it works. So now that it's done, what we're going to do is open up a new tab here. And uh, well, first of all, how about we do this? We're going to show you that it does work uh, theoretically without having to go to our web browser with ping, and then we can just type in any name, so foo.dev, and we should get results back, which we do from 127.0.0.1. So if we come here and type in tutorial, which is the application name, .dev, you can see we now have a successful 5.4 Laravel installation running on our computer on Windows with Valet, which was originally only for Mac. So now we have it for Windows as well. And you can make as many of these applications in that main folder as you want and be able to just type in the application name .dev and view them all right here in your browser. Now with that said, let's go over a couple troubleshooting tips uh, and tricks that I've found. So first things first, if you have a server such as ZAMP or WAMP or LAMP running on your system already, 99.99% of the time, it's going to be running on port 80 with Apache. You need to make sure that port 80 is not being used, so that way this uh, valet system will work. So to do that, uh, I'll be using the ZAMP control panel just to show you, but we'll go to the Apache config, and we're going to go to the httpd.config file, and then we're going to control F and do 80. So as you can see here, we have listen to port 8080 right there. And then we also, if I'm not mistaken, have another one, server name localhost 8080. Save that and close. Stop and restart your Apache, and you'll see that it is now running on port 8080 and port 443 instead of port 80. This will allow the valet to work on your system. Another thing, if you are typing in tutorial.dev or whatever your application name .dev and it says page not found instead of showing you your actual Laravel installation, you may want to try restarting the valet service to make sure that it is working properly and that the changes have propagated. To do that, it's very, very easy. Just type in valet restart. And as you'll see here, uh, give it a few seconds and it'll restart the valet service and you should be able to see your site. Now, if after doing that, you still do not see your site, uh, as you can see here, the valet services have been restarted. Please make sure that you have set your DNS inside of um, the network sharing center 
to the 127.0.0.1 for your IPv4 uh, protocol and then the colon colon one for your IPv6 protocol. Those are going to be the most common issues that you run into. But once you have Composer and Laravel installed and then go through the basic simple commands that I showed you to get Valet installed on your system, everything should be working smoothly and you should be on your way to being able to create nice Laravel applications in Windows without having to run any kind of virtual environments or any kind of other special software. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. All the links will be in the description below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys and have a wonderful night.